Hey JCC. Oh hello there, culture. Want to go check out the other divisions with me? Yeah, let's go. Hey JCC, isn't that Tycho? Hearing the roaring drums, it has to be. Let's go visit Tycho Division. Hey Tycho, what's up? Oh, hey there, culture. JCC. Tycho kun, can you introduce us to your division? Sure. Did you know? Taiko means drum in Japanese, but now it's commonly referred to as the art of Japanese drumming. Actually, we have a performance today. It's about a tale of two friends who were samurais from two rival clans. To avoid bloodshed, the warlords of each clan have agreed on sending in the two friends for a one-on-one -on -one battle to the death to determine the winner. Want to watch? Yes. yes. Cool. The first song we'll be playing is called Tomodachi. This song symbolizes the samurai's friendship through a warm and welcoming beat. Next is Isami Goma, a fast-paced song with a galloping light beat to show the two meaning face to face. Lastly is Ogimatsuri, where it will show the two clashing each other through the powerful and rhythmic beat of the song. Well then. This is the tale of the two wandering samurai.
Wow, that was amazing. Such an exhilarating performance left me a little tired. Should we take a break? Alright then. Well, as we rest up, why don't I tell you about my awesome division? Oh, what are you waiting for? Tell me. Culture division focuses mainly on learning about the Japanese culture, ranging from their daily lives to widely celebrated festivals. Our aim is to enhance the knowledge of Japanese culture within our members through presentations and sometimes even group discussions amongst everybody. Let's see here. There was a session where we talked about temples, just like this one. Oh, uh -huh. so are temples important to the Japanese culture? How so? Hmm, a temple is a part of the Japanese way of life, one of the many Japanese cultures they follow closely to. The Japanese believe that temples symbolize your faith or dedication to the deity that it pays homage to. Temples, to them, can also mean dedication to your spiritual expansion and the path to enlightenment. I have some photos of our sessions dedicated to learning about said temples. Would you like to see them? Wow, how interesting! Show me! So these are all members of the culture division? Yep, this is from our session talking about Japanese temples. Amazing! The session seems so interesting. I can see the enthusiasm in everybody's eyes. They look so engaged when listening about Japanese temples. You are right. I must admit that this is one of our more hyped up sessions since there is so much to uncover about Japanese temples. Oh, I want to hear all about Japanese temples too now. Kouchi-san, can you reenact the session just for me? I want to learn about the rich details about the Japanese temples as well. Sai, I guess I could teach you all I've learned during that session. Yay, thank you culture. Temples, Tera, are the places of worship in Japanese Buddhism. You will find at least one temple in every Japanese municipality. So usually, huge cultural centers like Kyoto would have several hundreds of them. You might wonder what Japanese temples have in store. You will arrive at the gate, which is the main entrance to the temple. There is usually one main gate where people would enter from. Depending on the temple, there might also be multiple gates scattered around the temple grounds. Each has a meaning to them, such as the Sanmon Gate of Kenchoji in Kamakura, which was built in 1754 with donations all across the Kanto region. According to a popular legend, a raccoon dog, a tanuki, helped raise the money transforming himself into a monk to repay the kindness of the temple's priests. For this reason, even today, the Sanmon is often called Tanukimon. Another structure of significance to pretty much all temples are bells. These are also known as bonsho, tsurigane, or ogane in Japanese, each of which roughly translates to large bells. Bells are symbols of God due to the Japanese belief that the sound of bells wards off evil and brings protection. On New Year's Eve, temple bells are rung 108 times. This ties into the Buddhist concept of 108 worldly desires. The best cities to visit temples are Kyoto, Nara, and Kamakura. Every temple you can find has its own unique tale to tell, which is what makes visiting one so appealing to many tourists in Japan. Here are some pictures of the many temples that are located in Japan. Ozorezan. Mount Osore, a sacred mountain resembling Buddhist hell. It is ranked as one of Japan's top three most sacred places. It is also the site of Odaiji Temple today, after being discovered by a Buddhist priest 1,000 years ago in search of a sacred mountain that resembles the world of Buddha. Kokidera, Moss Temple, called Moss Temple because of its garden. Also known as Saihoji, but more commonly known as Kokedera, one of Kyoto's UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Kokedera means Moss Temple as a reference to the temple garden's estimated 
120 different varieties of moss. Outside of winter, visitors to the temple can walk through this spectacular garden which has strongly influenced subsequent Japanese garden design. That concludes the lesson. That was so interesting! It was interesting to the point I actually did not think of falling asleep during your presentation. Is that supposed to be a compliment or a slow burn? Either way, your sessions look like a blast, and they are informative too. Well, of course. After all, I'm there. Cool. I think we are both charged up to go visit the other divisions again. Should we find cosplay and check her division out? Let's. Hey, it's Culture and JCC. How are you guys? Great! Great! We came to see a division! Ba -da -da -da. Welcome to Cosplay Division! We cover all basic cosplay and J fashion knowledge, so if you're interested in Japanese fashion in general, come join us! We welcome everyone! This time, we'll be performing two dances, Gokuraku Jodo and Koi, along with a song, Hikaru Nara. Wanna be my audience? Yes! yes.
Amazing! Wow, if only I could sing or dance like that. Maybe in a hundred years. Let's go check our language. Hey, hey language. language! Can we see what you guys do in your division? Konnichiwa, minasan! Welcome to the language division in JCC. It's really nice to meet you guys. Here in our club, we engage in the intellectual pursuit of excellence in the almost mystical language of the East. The almost historic language of Japanese holds many desirable users for our members, a language we pursue in an enjoyable and interesting manner. Mmm, to put it simply, we study Japanese. For example, with fun quizzes and games to test your progress. Let's take a look at one of our esteemed members and their test papers. Hey, that's mine. How do you do it so badly? Never mind. Good job for trying, I suppose. Here's a lollipop. Let's just watch him train to further his skills in his training art. My powers have doubled since we last met, language. Really? That's amazing. Let me see. Uh, um, double of one? Mmm, so amazing. <laughs> I know that you are trying your best, so here's another lollipop. Now, hurry along. Thank you for visiting language and we hope to see you soon. Sayonara! Wow, that's really interesting. Makes me feel like learning Japanese. Right. Let's see. Who's left? Coming! Coming. Hey, Hello, Coming! Coming! Hey, you two. What are you and your division doing? Drawing a class. After all, Coming is a place for people to learn how to do this sort of thing. We believe that everyone has the potential to create their own masterpieces. Coming guides the people through constructive feedback and provides areas of improvement. We also appreciate the occasional memes and free expressions. Recently, we did some cool speed paints though. Do you want to see them?
Hi, welcome. This is a speed paint I did a while back. It's a speed paint of MPJCC's comic mascot, Coming Chan. So right now, I'm just doing a line art over a sketch that I have done previously. While doing this, I was focusing on making my line art as smooth and as seamless as possible. Even though I'm not the best at line art, I'm still practicing. After all, you gotta practice in order to improve. There will be at times where I try to make some lines thicker or thinner compared to others. This is to give an illusion of a shadow and to exaggerate some features of the drawing or character. While doing the line art, I realized that I need to work more on my line art skills, and sometimes my lines can seem quite rough or sketchy. It's sort of a bad habit of mine, and I'm trying to make my lines smoother. For the eyes, I decided to do something simple, just two curved lines with the line on top being thicker. Now, I'm doing the line art for the gender band version of Coming Chan. He is called Coming Kun. Basically, I'm doing the same thing as I did on Coming Chan. Doing the line art, making some lines thicker, so on and so forth. I'm not really that good at drawing humans, but I try. We're all here to learn.
You can see me struggle a bit with drawing the clothes and the clothes fold, as I'm still trying to get a hang of it. So right now, I'm doing Comin Coon's pants, and I'm adding more lines to make it look baggy. Clothes fold can help determine what kind of fabric the clothes are made out of, whether the clothes are stiff or stretchy, or whether they are tight or loose. I decided to make it look like they were writing their names on the screen because I thought it looked cool and fun. I felt that the pants Common Chan was wearing were too plain, so I added more lines to make it more detailed. After all, if you think something is too plain, just add more lines and pray that it makes sense or looks good. Next up for the colouring, I used two tools for the hair. I used the tool that lets me colour the area which I want to select so that the software knows that it should only focus on that area. Then I used the gradient tool and picked up two colours. After using it, it will automatically create a gradient from one of the selected colour to the other. For the rest of the colouring, I used the bucket tool to help colour the other parts with just one click. It definitely made my life easier. I'm beat. Of course we will be. There were so many exciting divisions. Ara, are those over there the other divisions? Oh, here for some spiritual refreshments? Not so sure about spiritual refreshments, but I need a break from drawing out those frames. I'm here for a shy photo shoot! <sighs> and I'm here to carry her baggage. Ella, the reliable one, aren't you? Hey, since we're all here, let's all pray together! Yeah! yeah. I'm 
Thank you for watching our Arts Fiesta project. This project was a labor of love by our divisions, and we are elated to be able to share it with you. This year, Nian Polytechnic is supporting the students hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. A little support goes a long way. If you are able to, please do consider helping our students. You may do so by scanning the QR code shown on the screen. We thank you for your attention and we hope you have enjoyed our performance.